Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit of a controversial opinion. Uh, this was something that was super interesting to me, and I heard it from Layla Hermosi a while ago. It's great. Success doesn't feel good, contrary to popular belief. And it makes sense, honestly, because, okay, so the way she said it was like, change, sorry, success means that you've changed. Change only happens through growth, and growth doesn't feel good plain and simple it's just like that so like she spoke on how she was doing like four million dollars a month or, or like some wild number right and while they were doing the whole gym launch thing well they had a bunch of people that were congratulating them and noticing them and recognizing them and all these different things everyone's like "Woo, you're doing great and she just spoke on how she was miserable or at least wasn't thrilled, you know? Like, like just every day was something else. It was difficult, it was painful. And it kind of reminded me of all the times that I have put forth a ton of effort. Like, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of effort. And I did succeed. Like, of course, because when you do something for a long time, and you fight through all of the grit and the pain and the, the stinging and all the other extra things that go into what it takes to actually be successful in something that isn't easy, of course you're gonna remember the pains. But all everyone else is gonna see is that you did the hard thing that they weren't able to do, or you did the super difficult thing that most people aren't capable of accomplishing, but you were there through the 1%. The 10%, the 20%, the 50%, the 80, 90, and then 100%. You completed the thing. So you remember all the pains and all the headaches and all the fires and all the roadblocks and insert anything else that went into every single step along the way until you won. But no one else saw that. All they saw was that you won, not the story leading up to it. In my life, oh buddy. I remember what it was like to be super stressed managing a software tool that could at any moment, um, like if any, it almost felt like if at any moment someone looked at the way things were running under a microscope, they would see that things were held together with spit and duct tape. But we fixed it and they see that some 20 something year old kid managed the million dollar software team and was successful doing it. And then this 20 something year old kid was meeting with a C-level executive and was briefing them and did it successfully. And this C-level kid, or this 20-something year old kid was pulling together multiple different teams across different organizations and was successful. And for everyone else, they're like, congratulations, Matt, you did great. Like, I've never seen anyone blah, 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 blah. Like, this isn't me patting myself on the back. This is like quotes of what they said to me. And the only thing I could remember was like, all the nights that I had to stay up, all the extra hours that I had to put into preparing the slide decks and making sure all this, like the story lined up and looking through all the different documentation to make sure that we were compliant and this, that, and the third thing, just all these extra things. So to them, they see, wow, this kid's doing great things. And to me, it was just like, like nightmares, just a list of nightmares that I bought through and made it to the other side. Oof. And so it's it's odd that we always think about successful people and we like see all their success and we're like, damn, I wish that I was able to get there. But no one thinks about all the different things that went into fighting to get there. All the hours of effort, all the unsure moments, all the do or die times, like all these different things that go into being successful that is just kind of there but not seen and phew. I don't know for me that that kind of was was an interesting take because it's one of those things I didn't think about until it was actually shined a light on but in the end it's always worth it and when you look back at it the thing that I I don't look back over those times and think like oh fuck. I've never once looked back over those and been like damn it like I wish I didn't go through that Sometimes I wish like, damn, I didn't, I wish I didn't go through that. But at the same time, the thing that I noticed the most is that I'm proud that I did and made it through and that I have more proof to myself that I'm capable of taking on bigger and, and scarier demons because at those moments, I wasn't sure if I was going to survive, but I did. I'm still here. 
So if you're fighting through it, if you're going through the hellstorm right now, shout out to you. You're doing the hard thing and you're making it happen. Okay. These are the stories you're going to tell when you make it. These are the, the battle scars that make you more experienced and give you authority to speak on different tasks. I, for the life of me, did not think that I would ever tell anyone these stories. Honestly, honestly, in those moments, I did not think that I would be on camera talking to you about these things. And yet here I am. And now I have more experience that I can actually like confidently speak on and teach people about leadership and nose to the grindstone, how to make ends meet, how to like pull together when, when shit hits the fan because I went through it multiple times, multiple times. If you're fighting through it, hang in there. It's not over till the fat lady sings. And if she ain't singing, then you ain't finished. Keep fucking going. You'll make it. And if you're having a hard time and want to speak with people that actually relate to you, you should join my school group. It's also on Facebook. You can meet growth-minded, success-oriented individuals that are fighting the good fight just like you. My name is Matthew Holland, and my goal is to teach you the tested tips and tricks to actually make you successful and get what you want in life. Today has been absolutely wonderful speaking with you once again. Thank you for your patience, and I will see you on the next video. Matthew Holland, signing off.